is our project for now. We are going to be making a uh, brooding tractor, essentially, for the turkeys. So, once they're done hatching their babies, oh hi mama, how you doing? Once they're done hatching their babies, we'll stick them in here and they can have a little party. So, based on my calculations, it is 50 feet around and then, uh, so we got wire, 50 feet of wire and zip ties and hook trimmers so let's get started all right so i got this thing out the package it kept falling over whenever i was trying to put it up so that was annoying i finally got it up there and then i tied it to one of the posts and then wrapped it all the way around this is what we got so far um Obviously, I only have like four zip ties on it. This is just wrapped around, so you, it, we have like an idea of what it's gonna look like. Um, but yeah, my hands are hurting. But I'm excited, I think it's gonna look good. So let's, uh, let's continue. All right, so continuing, I started on the outside, but that wasn't working too well. It was really hard to pick the trampoline up. So I went to the inside and started doing it. And then I was just basically going along the bottom after like the first three pegs, I just went along the bottom instead of did the pegs. And then I went back and did the pegs off camera because my phone died. So we got another project going on right now too. So this is a shade cloth. That's the bag it came in. So we'll throw that out later, but anyway. Um, this is our, gonna be our new turkey brooder. Um, it was a quail coop. That's why it's like painted all nice because we've had this for a little while, but it hasn't been in use because we sold the quail, which was before the YouTube channel. So you guys didn't see him, but he used to have like 20 quail. Anyway, so we're going to put the shade cloth up here, like over the top of it. Or maybe, well, no, we have to put it over the top because it doesn't have hooks in the middle. So it's going to be a little bit difficult because obviously I'm not that tall. Um, so we'll see how it goes, I guess. Alright guys, so I found a bucket to climb on. So that's what I used, just used the bucket and I was able to get it all on there nice and tight. And it was actually fairly easy, I thought it was going to be a little bit harder because of how high up it was, but it wasn't very difficult. So guys, the shed cloth is on. Um, let's go inside and check it out. So, beautiful, beautiful. Now, Obviously, it's uh, not really needed right now because it's getting dark, but I think it looks pretty good. I mean, we'll see, I guess, but yeah, maybe we'll check it tomorrow morning and see what it looks like. Okay, so it's kind of sunny out today, so let's go in here and see. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit. You can, you can kind of tell. I can tell because I'm in real life, but like, uh, like here, look, that's not, uh, shaded. And this, that's the shade line. Yeah, you can tell. You can totally tell. These are bushes, so that's why it's shaded, but, and then there's like a little arch here. That's why that little piece is just not. See? Yeah, it's working. It looks good. Okay, so we got this thing reinforced now because uh, she kept getting out i don't know i don't know why she wanted out but she kept getting out going into this nest here and sitting on those eggs and um <coughs> yeah we want her to sit on her eggs so she's trapped in there now or at least she should be the netting's pretty tall goes all the way up to here so if she can still get out of that, I'll have to put a roof on that too. But for now, we're gonna try that. But yeah. If you wanna see more videos like this, like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and I'll see you in the next one.